First, President Putin's given his official approval to a Russian priest who hopes to fly around the world solo in a Bristol-built balloon. Fedor Konakov launched the project at a press conference in Moscow today, where he's a well-known adventurer. Yes, not content with several polar expeditions, climbing Everest twice or even rowing the Pacific, he hopes to set a new record. And he's backed by a team from Cameron's. Scott Ellis reports. The official launch of Russia's solo round-the-world balloon attempt. And besieged by reporters, the 63-year-old will be going it alone next year in a Bristol-built balloon. As Fedor Konakov was speaking in Moscow, work continued on his million-pound balloon at Cameron's in Bedminster. Company Cameroon Balloons, my успех. They are, they, the Cameroon balloons are the key people, so I rely on them a lot. Fedor is a phenomenon in any language. More than 160 days rowing the Pacific alone is just one of his many achievements. But he is new to ballooning and to the rigours of flying alone for days on end in a cramped balloon capsule. He'll have no fresh food, he'll have water on board, he'll have to wear an oxygen mask nearly all the time, and he'll um, very basic, uh, if you like, a bucket and chuck it a toilet system. I'm prepared for this uh, environment, sailed around the world five times, rode across the Pacific Ocean. So I am got used to this harsh environment, living in difficult living conditions. My uh, best hope is for good weather. Fedor hopes to beat the late Steve Fossett's solo record of 13 days, set in 2002. And he hopes this global effort, which includes eight other countries, will inspire unity. Round the World Balloon is a perfect uh, example of global cooperation. And plus, I would like to show the young kids that you have to be romantic no matter what age you are. No matter how old you are, you have to stay romantic. Fedor, who's also an artist and an author, takes off in Australia next year. Before then, he'll be Bristol-bound for a team talk with his balloon builders and also the experts who'll direct the flight from the ground while he's up there on another lonesome trip into the unknown. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West. I definitely like that about staying romantic. Forever. That's yes. what we must do, forever and beyond.